Hi guys! On this video, I'm going to teach you the introduction to sequence. Okay, let's start! Our objectives for this video are Number 1. Define sequence and related terms. Number 2. Differentiate finite and infinite sequence. Before we proceed with our topic, let's try to answer this one. Find the next term. So number 1. MTWTFS. What will be the next letter? KS. So these are actually the first letter of the names of the days in a week. Number 2. O T T F F S S E N. What will be the next letter? Okay, letter T. So these are actually the first letter of the names of numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's have the number 3. J F M A M J J A S O N. So what will be the next letter? Letter T for December because these are the first letter of the months in a year. Sub number 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. What will be the next number? 16. So you just simply skip counting by 2. Number 5, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49. What will be the next number? That is 64. So these are squares of numbers. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 squares is 4, 3 squares is 9, 4 squares is 16, and so on. So notice that we are able to find the next letter or next number because this set of examples are following a pattern, which will lead us to our topic, which is sequence. By definition, sequence or progression is a succession of numbers formed according to a rule or pattern. So the keywords are rule or pattern. So let's take our example a while ago. So let's have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So notice that you're able to find the next number to this set of numbers, which is 16, because this set of numbers are actually following a pattern, which is adding 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 is 6, plus 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 2 will give you 16. So that's this one is an example of a sequence. So every number on your sequence is called a term. So therefore, 2 is term, 4 is term, 6 is term, 8 is term, and so on. So term is denoted by letter a, or in some other books, you may see letter T. So since we have here uh, several terms, we're going to use this kind of naming of term. So for the first term, we're going to use this one, which is A sub 1. So A sub 1 will be our first term, and to differentiate the next term, we're going to use A sub 2. And so with the third term, which is A sub 3. We also have the a sub n, which is called the general term or the n term. So this can be any term. It will depend on the value of n. If n is 5, this will be 5th term. If n is 10, this will be the 10th term. Okay. So since we already know that if a number follow a pattern, it is called a sequence. If we know the pattern of that sequence, we can easily find the terms of your sequence. Okay, so let's take a look at this example. So let's try this one. Find the next three terms of the following sequence. So let's have 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, 17. So what will be the next three terms? Okay, so we will have 20, 23, and 26 because the rule or the pattern here is adding 3. 2 plus 3, 5 plus 3, 8. Plus 3, 11, and 17 plus 3 will become 20, then 23, 26. Let's have the next one. 3, 6, 12, 24. So what will be the next three terms? Okay, that will give us 48, 96, and 192. Because the rule here or the pattern here is multiplying by 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24, times 2 is 48, times 2 is 96, times 2 is 192. So let's have the next one. So 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, 17. What will be the next three terms? So that will give us 23, 30, 38. So why? 
So the pattern or the rule here is adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. So for example, 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 2, 5. 5 plus 3, 8. So 8 plus 4, 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. 17 plus 6 is 23. Plus 7, 30. Plus 8, 38. So let's have the next one. So 9. 4, negative 1, negative 6, negative 11. So, what will be the next three terms? That will give us negative 16, negative 21, negative 26. So, you're actually subtracting 5. So, 9 minus 5 is 4, minus 5 is negative 1, minus 5 is negative 6, minus 5 is negative 11, minus 5, negative 16, and so on. So, notice that you can have different rules or pattern on your sequence. So you can have operations such as addition, multiplication, subtraction, division, and you can actually have combination of operation. Okay, so let's proceed. A sequence can be a finite sequence or bounded sequence, which is a sequence with fixed number of terms such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 with only 6 terms or 3, 6, 12, 24, which has only 4 terms. And another one is 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, which has only 5 terms. Or, you can also have infinite sequence, which is also known as unbounded sequence. So, from the word self, infinite, meaning this sequence will continue endlessly. So, for example, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, dot, dot, dot. 3, 6, 12, 24, dot, 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 and 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, dot, dot, dot. So notice that these are almost the same with the finite sequence except for those dot, 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 which is known as the ellipsis. An ellipsis is often used in mathematics to mean and so forth. So this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so forth. 3, 6, 12, 24 and so forth, 2, 3, 5, 8, 12, and so forth, which means that this will continue endlessly. Thus, this is an example of infinite sequence. Okay, let's try this one. So, identify whether the given sequence is a finite sequence or uh, infinite sequence. Let's have this. 1, 3, 9, 27, 81. So, obviously, this is an example of a finite sequence because there are only 5 terms on this sequence. So, let's have the next one. 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 over 16, and so forth. So, this is an example of infinite sequence because there is an ellipsis on this sequence. Let's have the next one. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so forth. So, this is an example of infinite sequence. Again, there is an ellipsis on this sequence. Let's have the next one. 3, 8, 13, 18, 23, 26. So, this is an example of a finite sequence because there are only 6 terms on this sequence. Okay, good job! Thank you guys. I hope you learned something from this video.